Hi, my name is Gareth Fall. I'm from the uh, London Stock Exchange Group, um, and I'm here today to talk about the API lifecycle and developer experience for product managers. Uh, uh, there's a little bit about me, but I won't um, stay on the slide too long. I think the main thing to note is that I'm a father of a two-year-old girl who takes up most of my time outside of work. Uh, I'm also, a, a. I think the main thing around this is that I'm an API platform product manager at LSEG, which is the shortening of L London Stock Exchange Group. Um, just to get everybody on the same page, uh, when I say APIs, I mean uh, REST APIs in this particular context um, and external facing. So generally consumed by, um, well, mostly companies, but maybe consumers or any, well, mostly, mostly companies because APIs are generally consumed by companies, but individuals could also use them. Um, so, uh, from my perspective, there are two types of API product managers. Now, these are roles. They're not necessarily uh, a title that somebody has, um, especially the API provider role uh, is something that people probably have as well as other roles. They'll have a product, maybe a data product, and that will uh, have an API as part of that. Uh, and so they need to still, they need to know about APIs and be able to um, view their API as a product in itself. So uh, that they can design the API. Uh, so that doesn't mean the whole technical piece of designing it, but certainly the, um, the, the end point and the way that looks and all the documentation and everything like that. Um, and what it does. So it needs to be a, have a job to be done and that API provider should own that job to be done. The API platform product manager, who, and that's what I am, uh, is more concerned with providing the tooling and, and everything that the API provider needs in order to get their API out there to the consumers. So, and I've sort of already been through this to a degree, but um, the API provider product manager uh, is, is much more concerned with the, the consumers and the, as customers um, being, being able to measure how successful their API are, uh, APIs are in terms of that, um, how the, they need to be able to know how to get the API live um, and be sort of commercially responsible for the API. And also um, someone who understands, I guess, what is needed from that API. So as I was saying before, that job to be done of the API. Uh, whereas a platform product manager generally has far too many APIs to deal with to actually know what any of them are for necessarily. But uh, in general, um, make sure that they understand the, the wider world of APIs and that they're providing a service which is up there um, with the sort of best uh, in market. So what I've seen is a lot of uh, API lifecycle diagrams that are quite technical, um, sort of developer focused. Um, oh, what I'm trying to do here is make it more uh, like product manager or at least business focused. Um, and so the product managers are really going to be concerned with things like governance and commercial readiness, uh, trying to run uh, tests with their consumers, so customer beta tests, potentially the documentation, uh, especially from more of a marketing or a, a, a business user perspective. Um, the API strategy, so the strategy for the API as a product, but also from a provider, uh, sorry, from a platform perspective, um, you'll have an API strategy around where you're going to head with all your tooling. 
Now, um, the title of this was, uh, I, I believe, something about developer experience, but what I wanted to touch on is the fact that an API experience is both a developer experience and a user experience, that you need good UIs and, and the whole journey around that for people who are not developers who want to uh, take part in, in the API lifecycle. So you have a consumer developer, consumer product manager, provider developer, provider product manager, all as personas that you should really as, uh, especially as the API platform product manager, to, you should be um, using those. Uh, so from the consumer experience, you need to think about um, from a developer's perspective, which is something that, that people talk about quite a bit around SDKs and documentation and things, but then you've got to provide a UX. So, um, so making sure that the, these more business focused people have some content and can easily find it. And this kind of shows the, uh, uh, this is a diagram that shows the documentation as really you should be heading towards uh, for your APIs. Uh, and that that's potentially why you need, uh, you know, a whole platform team to, to get this in place. Um, and you also need uh, quite a few API product managers to, um, to be able to maintain the, this documentation. Uh, the API provider experience. Now, this is something that's even less looked at. Uh, certainly, from an API, from a, a developer experience perspective, there is there is some thought definitely in terms of pipelines and and getting things, getting a you know API technical documentation from design to to deployment. But in terms of this is really where the product management piece hasn't been looked at too much. And that's around usually a UI to manage the life cycle of the APIs you own as a product manager. And in terms of what that kind of process looks like uh, from a product manager's perspective, from a commercial perspective, you're wanting to, have, you know, and from an API platform perspective, you're wanting to certify APIs so that they are ready to be provided commercially. And all this governance should be really easy uh, or as easy as possible, self-service. Um, and that, that's where I'm trying to head to anyway. And the future of API product management. So I, I guess I don't feel like it's very mature at the moment. Uh, we're getting there, but a lot more people will be involved in the future, I think in this from a product perspective and um, more people will specialize in API product management. So it won't be just a role necessarily. You will have more people with the title. Uh, and sort of heading in the future even more, I think a lot of people are talking about AI. Uh, so I'll bring it up as well. Uh, so for me, the AI piece and the automating the integrations uh, to APIs is actually the easy piece. And actually the hard piece is that, that more commercialization and procurement piece. So if an AI, how has an AI chosen an API? What sort of process has it gone through? Has it gone through some sort of due diligence? If it has how does it actually buy that API? <laughs> so does it have its own wallet that it uses or not? I don't know. There, there needs to be a lot of work around that, I think. And there, yeah, so that's, that's my talk. Thank you very much.